Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how you can generate a shockwave hot enough to burn paper just by knocking two giant steel balls together. So whenever you lift something up or move something, you give it some energy. And whenever the thing stops, that energy gets converted into a different type of energy, usually heat. And I showed this was true in a previous video. I used a bunch of little tiny lead balls. Okay, so first let's measure the temperature of our lead shot right now. So we've got about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 15 and a half degrees Celsius. And I dropped them a bunch of times. I just put them in a bag and I dropped them over and over and over and over and over again. And I showed you that over time as I dropped them, the whole bag of lead balls heated up. This is actually an exercise I made up called the first law of thermodynamics kinetic exercise. Okay, let's see if it heated up at all. Let's pour the lead in here. 65 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a five degree increase just by dropping it on the ground a bunch of times. But it took a while to do that and a lot of drops. So I wanted to show something that's a little bit more dramatic that shows the instant conversion from mechanical movement into heat. These ball bearings are two inches of solid steel. They're pretty heavy. They weigh about a pound each. So the reason I'm using two inch, one pound steel balls is because these have the perfect surface area when they contact each other in order to make a shock wave. So if you have anything smaller than two inches, it doesn't have enough mass to generate the shock wave. And anything larger than a two inch sphere, when they contact each other, there's too much surface area. And so the heat is spread over a larger area. And so it doesn't create as dramatic of a result. So first, let me show you what happens when you just hit two pieces of metal together. You for sure don't get an explosion, a shockwave, or burn paper. So you just get some smashed paper. So you can see the paper gets a little thinner there, a little more hardened, but there's not a hole in it and there's not any burned paper. Even though there's a lot of energy coming from the hammer hitting it really hard, there's no hole. Even if I use one of the steel spheres against the steel plate here, you just get little dots of squished paper, but no explosion. But then watch what happens when you use the perfect ratio of spheres. Whoa, you even get sparks. So you can see here the paper hits the wall, which is around six inches away from the paper in the same frame as when the balls hit. So that means the chunks of paper are moving at least 340 miles per hour. So that's literally moving at the speed of sound. The paper is flying at sonic speeds. So watch the pattern that forms when we knock it against aluminum foil now. Okay, look at this pattern here. Let me zoom in on and show you what I mean. It's really cool. They're like these perfect circles of waves coming out of the center, kind of like you dropped a pebble in a pond and it spread out. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, hit the subscribe button and head over to theactionlab.com if you haven't subscribed to your subscription box yet. If you enjoy these experiments on my channel, then you can get the subscription box. I'm gonna send out quarterly with some awesome experiments that you can do on your own. Click this link or head over to theactionlab.com and get yours today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.